the chaplain of the moderator, moderator of Drakensberg Presbytery, the ministers present and their spouses, Fellowship of Men TDC, fraternal guests, delegates, observers, and everybody present, and due to all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Uh, I am Nondoba Gomathanta from Tiosoga Presbytery from that congregation. I am the Vice President of Fellowship of Church Pairs and Musicians. I am not here alone. I am here with my secretary, Sister Mazizi Gwadwa, and my IT admin. Sister Tips with the Dejana. They are both from Anatolia Presbytery. And I come here bearing greetings from the Fellowship of Church Choirs and Musicians. We are a new baby on the block. Uh, many of us, or let me say, many of the fellowships, they don't know of us. Uh, some are even calling us as ACCM. We are not ACCM. We are FCCM, Fellowship of Church Choirs and Musicians. We are here to make our vision known. As I have said that when the new babies on the block, our vision is not yet known. We are therefore here to tell you that there is another fellowship that is for church choirs and musicians. And it is our prayer that each and every congregation in the UPCSA must have FCCM in their congregations. Because each and every congregation, even every congregation need FCCM in their congregations. Uh, as FCCM, we are not just the fellowship of church choirs, as many are afraid of. Because when they are looking at us, they are looking at people who are singing notes. We are not only concentrating on notes, but we are also musicians. What we were just doing here this morning, it showed in musicianship within you. So it means you can be members of SCCM. And coming to the theme of a conference that is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20, Christ our companion for evangelical mission. How is Christ our companion? He is a companion to all who are his by grace through faith. He sticks closer than any other companion that you have. He will never leave us. He is our eternal friend who sticks closer than a brother. As followers of Christ, our mission is to be disciples who make disciples. As Jesus has commanded that his disciples, they must go and make disciples of all nations. This therefore means we must go and evangelize so as to be disciples who make disciples. Our mission as evangelists is to spread the Christian gospel and message of salvation to others. As 
FCCN, our way of evangelizing is through singing the songs of praise, playing drums, blowing horns, and whatever instrument that is at our disposal, as we are just doing this morning. We need each other, because before you preach the gospel of Christ, the musicians should make a joyful noise to the Lord, calling all people of God to music. We need to work together for this evangelical mission to be successful. But we cannot do that without Christ as our companion. We see Jesus showing companionship through eating with his friends, praying for his friends, and needing their support during his great trials. This means therefore that we also need to be there for each other. We also need to eat with each other. And we also need to pray for each other. Christ promises to always be with us till the end of the world. Christ is calling the disciples and all who are in Christ to follow the same path to greatness, to humility, to sacrificial service to each other. Jesus came to serve us. He came to do what we could never do for him. He came to save us from our sins. Let us pray and ask God to humble us as our companion. As FCCM, we show companionship with Christ through praise and worship. Praise and worship brings us closer to God. It aligns our hearts with His will. It makes us to receive His guidance and direction for our lives. As we focus our time and attention on the Lord in worship, as we proclaim His place of honor in our lives, as we thank and praise Him for His eternal promises, we can expect God to intervene in our circumstances. God has promised to inhabit our worship and He will. All things are possible to Him. Some people came to faith because of worshiping Christians. No one invited them. No one preached gospel to them. But a group of Christians were singing songs to Christ. As people watched them singing, they thought to themselves, they have something that we don't have. And it opened their hearts to listen to the message that was presented. There is a direct connection between our worship and preaching. As you can read from the book of Acts chapter 2, verses 46 to 47, they worshipped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. All the while, praising God and enjoying goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. We are all being washed by the world. Let us pay attention and engage because they are watching us. Our worship is a witness. Let's be good witnesses. Let's make sure that our hearts are in the right place. Mo Baba. Mo Baba. We need you. Sianitina. as FCCM. Because if you can look at our hymn books, there are four parts there. We've got soprano, alto, tenors, and basses. And we've got a challenge in the latter two the tenors and the basses. have got fellowship of men. So which means all our church choirs can have men in their uh, church choirs. So it means we can all form the fellowship of church choirs. And therefore we invite you to our festival next year in August. Come with your choirs. I'm a daughter and as a father. We want to hear them singing there because remember I said we are musicians, 
We are not just church choirs, but we are also musicians. So come with your Amadota Nazakad, come with your gospel solos, gospel duets, gospel trios, gospel quartets, etc. Come and enjoy our music festival with us. And we want to see the reading that was displayed here this morning being displayed in that festival because we have reading. And we want others who can play instruments to play instruments for the glory of God. So we invite you to come and join us in our conference. We are trying to showcase our musicianship. In conclusion, I want to conclude with a quote by George Miller. Be assured, if you walk with him and look to him and expect help from him, he will never fail you. Father President, I wish you success as you continue with your conference. I thank you. Followed by the fellowship of youth. Fellowship of young men followed by the fellowship of youth.